Hello there, I'm Jordan Hansen, and from Cobalt Intelligence. Today we're going to go to Texas, the Texas Secretary of State Business Search. We're going to show you how to use the Texas Secretary of State Business Search, and then we're going to show you how to get it via API, that data. So if you're looking to automate your business verification the uh, business verification process with Secretary of State data, then he, we, are here, we are here to help. Texas. All right, there's not that much information in Texas. Occasionally, we can get officer information. It's not always there. It's just there very rarely. Now, let's go over to this Texas site. Now, this is the, it's confusing here. I'm going to break this down a little bit so you can kind of see Texas. There's also this one. Okay, let's hit F11 again. Now, this site right here is different, and they charge for everything. I don't think anything actually, I don't think anyone actually uses this. They charge a search. It's a sign in, create an account. I don't know why this exists. This is the one you want. So if you go over here to this one, the actual Texas Secretary of State, it doesn't have the data you're looking for. You want the Texas Comptroller of Public Accounts for some reason. Don't ask me why, it's different, it just is. Now you have to get a little more specific if I remember correctly. Okay, good, there's not enough. Like it cancels if you're more than like 50, 500 or something. Anyway, this will work great. Donuts a la mode, Inc. That looks like a great one. And then here's all your information. You can kind of see the right to transact business. Like this one has franchise tax and voluntarily ended. And they have different statuses here. Now, this is where you'd get the office information. It doesn't have it here. I'm kind of curious if there's another one. It's not, like I said, it's not crazy common. Don't direct, maybe. Okay, I don't know. We're going to try one more. No, okay. Sorry. It doesn't always have it. Like I said, it's not very common. That CAPTCHA, I'm gonna go over here. This is our portal, the Cobalt Intelligence portal. You should use this to test data. Come in here, sign, create an account. Now, because there's a CAPTCHA, it takes at least, uh, you know, 60 seconds plus. Texas, I think, is a little bit longer even. But it's gonna try right now to get that data in about 20 seconds. That's about how long it'll try. And then if it can't complete it, it's gonna send you back a retry ID, like a little token that you can check back in with and you can say, hey, I need this data please you check back in later until it's complete. See like that right there. But don't worry, I won't make you sit here for 60 seconds while I hit submit. I will fast forward now. And all done. That's it. That is Texas over there. And now we're gonna go over to Postman and show you how to do it there. Ready, go to the Postman. Wait, we need to get this business name. Donuts a la mode. All right, there. And then we're gonna go Utah. This is what your URL is going to look like. I'm going to start it because, like I said, oh, not Utah. What am I doing? Texas. Donuts a la mode, Inc. So, like I said, this is going to be the same kind of thing. It's going to take about 20 seconds. It's going to return a retry ID, and then we're going to use it right here. You want to pass in the API key, which you get from the previous thing over here. See, API key, you'll get it right there. Pass that in your headers, x-api-key, and then you pass the API key right here. And, like I said, we'll have a retry ID here in just a second. There we go. We'll just put that right in there and we will fast forward and we're done so there we go that is the with postman you can see all the data here it all came back nicely now we're going to show you how to do it with the sdk and the sdk is really great for once every try these we'll show that here in a second texas right there let's start and then it's going to be this. You're going to import this SOS API, initialize it with new, pass in the API key, and then we're going to go await SOS API dot get business details. It is required that you pass in business name and state. You can also pass in other fields such as I want a screenshot, I want UCC data, or I want to search by street, city, and zip. You pass in those extra data, and then it's going to come back and give it to you. This time I did pass in a screenshot, so we'll talk about that. But the cool thing is, look, it just handles all those retries for you. You don't have to keep passing in the retry ID and checking. I'll just go and do that. So if you're a JavaScript user, this is probably the best bet. This is what I use personally. This is what we use at Cobalt Intelligence. So now we will fast forward. And we're done. That's it for Texas. We have that screenshot. Let's check it out. There we go. Okay. So obviously with this one, you can see it's coming up. We need to obviously pause that a little bit more. In fact, I'm going to make a note of that to Texas screenshot slightly longer pause transparent modal. then we'll get that fixed but anyway you can see here we have the screenshot you can prove you've been there you can get the all that information we just talked about 
And that is it for Texas. I'm Jordan Hansen signing off. If this video is helpful at all, just like and subscribe. And that is all I have for you today.